Welcome back to the channel YouTube. My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop's Breaks. And today, we have an end of year mail day. I know I haven't uploaded on Wednesday with the holidays and all. Got backed up on everything, but a bunch of mail I've gotten over the past couple of weeks. So, big end of year mail day to finish off the last day of 2022. All of the packages are pre-cut just to expedite the time a little bit just so we're not sitting here for 30 minutes and me trying to cut open first package got a jonathan pettibone rookie update pink numbered to 50 32 of 50 i guarantee you i am the only person on youtube i am the only person in general that collects jonathan pettibone all right this one's got a bunch of all right empty package uh, this one comes in a bubble mail and bubble wrap. Uh, we have a Reese Hoskins rainbow foil from 21 update number to 25. Trying to do uh, Hoskins as the main PC here. So, Hoskins as the main PC. Trying to not collect every one of his cards, but. A big portion of them, definitely a big portion of, like, the base. Um, some of the short prints. And, and that stuff, in that regard. Alright. Like, thanks for packaging my card very well, but... Oh, it makes it annoying to get in there. There we have a one of one. For Nick Pavetta. That is the... Super Fractor? Not the Super Fractor, it's the... Uh, I forget what they're called, but, um, Sparkle Fractor. One of one. So, I have a rainbow going for the 2020 Series 1 Nick Pavetta, where right now I'm just missing the Platinum. So if anyone by chance has the Platinum, uh, let me know. I don't have a package right here. Thank you for leaving feedback. I took it out of the envelope. It's an envelope in an envelope. All right. I appreciate the the help here, keeping the card safe, but it is also just a ton of paper. All right. There we go. We have the press proof, right? Uh, members only. Members only. Reese Hoskins. Going for that. Rainbow. Need the one of one, I think. Alright. Next package up. It's a CUMC order. Check out my cards. And what is this one specifically? Alright. We have another petty bone right here. First edition, Jonathan Pettibone. Nice right there. Granted, these things are numbered to 25, but they're not numbered, so I don't I don't know. It was a Pettibone I didn't have. So I added that to the Pettibone PC. What a strange player he was. He was a top 10 prospect for Philly, and then he just didn't make it. Uh, we have a Pavetta. Uh, Montgomery Club for 2020 Series 1 for the Rainbow. Next up, we have ourselves a Reese Hoskins Photographer Proof. It's got a $10 sticker on it. All right, that's fine. Um, but Press Proof Hoskins for 2021 Stadium Club. Big package here. That's in a brick. All right, I know what this is. So in 2015, right? 2015? Yeah, 2015. Uh, Reese Hoskins only has one card, and it is in the 2015 Blue Claws team set. So it's a 2015 Reese Hoskins Blue Claws card i'm not gonna get in there and open that up but that's what that's for for the hoskins pc 
Next package up. Okay, nice and easy. All right. Thank you for your ad in front of my card. Um, well, thank you note in there. But we have another Hoskins, of course. A lot of Hoskins, a lot of Pavetta, a lot of Petty Bones. But number 10 of 25 for Reese Hoskins. Wearing the mask right there when they came back for Tops Now. All right. Trend continues. You want to guess who it is this time? Yeah, we're in, we're in the festive spirit. Um, hope everyone had a good holiday. Hope everyone's going to have a happy new year tonight. But we have a Reese Hoskins scarf short print. I mean, this card came in a plain white envelope, so I'm pretty sure the painter's tape with uh, the cardboard isn't going to do much to help, but... Hey, it's the thought that counts, am I right? All right. Put this tape uh, to the side. Next up, another plain white envelope card. This one's got some green paper. There's nothing on that, right? All right, nothing on that. On the back, it's got Devers. All right, my, uh, Dad's a big Devers guy. Picked up a bunch of his rookies because they were cheap. But it's the blue with a boom platinum Devers. The blue to 50, 50 of 50, eBay one of one. Uh, and a Devers. So who wants this Devers platinum? Let me know. I'll play in one envelope to you for free. Next package up. We got ourselves a nice sandwich. All right. Guess what, Reese Hoskins? That's going to be the first day re release, right? First. Yeah, first day issue. So first day issue for 2021 Stadium Club. So I think technically I do have, I don't have the, like, the sepia or the black, or the red, I think that red's like the generic one, but, yeah, uh, I do have most of the ones that are the offshoot ones, uh, we have our graded card right here, we have a graded card, we have an Adam Hazley 2019 Tops Chrome PSA 10, for Chrome right there, update autographs, you know, I was always big on Hazley when they brought him in, he just fell out of just fell out of favor with the organization, I guess. Let's move these off to the side. Make some room for everything else. Uh, we have a big tops now thing. All right, there we go. Luke Williams. I mean, USA team. That's a from the walk off. I remember, is that base right? Game use base autograph. Number 49. The funny part about this card was this card was retailing on tops for like 150, 200, something like that. And I got it for less than half. So the guy who tried to buy them all up pretty quickly, you know, definitely lost a couple dollars on that one. All right. Next one up. This is a one of one. Uh, first autograph I have of him in my collection, but it's a one of one of Aaron Rowan game day and lineup silver ink auto for Aaron Rowan right there. Back when autographs were like super hard to come by because that's just how they were. I have a box right here. It's a good old box. So let me. It's got my address on it, and I ain't black it out, so I'm gonna cut it. Cut it. Cut it again. Ugh. All right. There we go. Inside the box, we have. Uh, I'll just Let's see if I can get this card out. It's the Topps Vault card of none other than Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Uh, 
tops vault one of one for 2020 Bowman. I believe that's what that what the um, that one. Yep, nice, nice card right there. All right, this one's got packing tape on it, and I did not. Pre I got a bunch of stuff in all at once. That not most of it I pre-cut. Some of it I apparently missed. So I try to save some time by doing this. You know, I try not to have like a 30 minute video. But next package up. Here we go. It's like a team bag with cardboard. So it's probably a Hoskins or a Pavetta or a Pettibone. All right. All right. Or or nothing at all. Okay. There we go. Oh, yep. There we go. That's going to be a Reese Hoskins. Ugh. It's a Leaf Reese Hoskins right there from 2017 Leaf. Um, so good about Hoskins is he doesn't have a lot of cards early since it was never a huge prospect. Uh, but some of his cards are either expensive or they're just hard to find since there wasn't a lot of them. But got the Leaf right there. This one's got my shipping order. But... Guess what? Another petty bone. This one was put in upside down. For some reason. I don't know why you don't seal up the bottom of or the top of the card. Because that just makes sense to me. Alright, come on, Jonathan. There we go. That's gonna be numbered to 99. 66 of 99 on the petty bone so like i said i'm definitely the only person on youtube that does collect jonathan petty bone and i was talking about jonathan petty bone if anyone has the 2013 bowman chrome jonathan petty bone rookie uh red to five let me know i'll pay you a handsome lot for it so just just saying uh next up had a bit of issue getting this card but uh the seller made it right uh, we have a Bobby Abreu, number to 25. Uh, initially, I bought the one to 50, or the unnumbered version. And like a month later, uh, the card never arrived. So I messaged the seller. I goes, hey, I, you know, I never got your card. Uh, is there something wrong? You know, just let me know. And the guy goes, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, because I haven't received it back in, you know, I haven't got like a return to sender uh so the guy goes, I can refund it to you, or I can, you know, I can send you out one the 25. And I'm like, oh, it's, you know, no big deal. Uh, just refund it to me, and if it comes, I'll let you know, and I'll pay what I pay you the, I think it's 20 bucks, the $20 for it. So he goes, okay, you know, that's fine. And then, like, a week later, that arrived, and I don't know if he had it listed for 35 or he was trying to, or that's what he bought it for. But he sent me the one the 25, which was very nice of him. I let him know that it was very nice of him. And he was like, yeah, man, I made it right. Just let me know if the other one shows up. And as of the end of 2021, it has not shown up yet. Next up, we have a Matt Veerling first Bowman Chrome Auto. Uh, Veerling came up, started kind of hot. Probably going to be in rotation for the starting center fielder spot. This one, it's got packing peanuts in it. I don't know what the point of packing peanuts is in a bubble mailer. All right. So, big, beefy, thick card right here. All right. Look at this beefcake. All right. This is a nice card, actually. So, let's say... I just tell me what it is. Thank you for letting me know the card I bought. I appreciate... I'm pretty sure it's always do that. One piece of cardboard, two piece of cardboard, three piece of cardboard, four piece of cardboard... So, a beefcake right there. But this is a dual auto of uh, Mickey Moniak and Alec Bohm, 4 of 25. Got a great deal on that right there, especially since uh, Bohm had a down season. And Moniak, uh, I guess, organizationally has fallen out of favor with the Phillies. You know, great deal on that one. So, love it. Definitely the most expensive card I bought in this opening, or this mail day. Is gonna be this Reese Hoskins for the Thresher or Cross Cutters. That's gonna be 2014 Cross Cutters. Uh, just because 
no one has that card, so I had to pay up a little extra for it. Not uh, not super thrilled with the price I paid for it, but I had to get it for the collection, you know? Always gotta do it for the collection. And then last up, uh, actually lied, I had two PSAs in this opening. And last but not least, last card is a 2020 Tops Reese Hoskins SP. Blowing the bubble right there. So, nice get right there for the Hoskins PC. Big Reese Hoskins fan, you know, I hope, uh, hope he bounces back. Hope, you know, with the Universal DH, he finds a lot more use in the Phillies lineup. Because they really needed his bat. And when his bat left the lineup, they really struggled offensively. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, this opening, let me know down below in the comments section. Leave a like and stay tuned for 2022 as we look to open up more packs and more fun stuff in the weeks to come.